consider a group of positive charges which of the following statement is correct so let us assume i have positive charge right let us assume i have one positive charge here and another positive charge here another positive charge here right now the first uh, uh, point net potential of the system cannot be zero at a point but net electric field can be zero at a point so let us assume i have a system of two charge only so let us assume i have this charge q1 here another charge q2 here now the equation for the potential is v is equals to kq by r as the potential is a scalar quantity then in that case the potential at any point let us assume at this point is given by equation kq by r1 kq1 by r1 plus kq2 by r2 as all charges are positive as all the charges are positive right then in that case the potential will only added right and if the potential is added then there will be no zero potential right so as there is no zero potential so the first statement is correct there will be a zero potential but it is at infinity right which is not here not given here right so the first point is correct because the net potential of the system cannot be zero but if i talk about electric field right in that case let us assume this is plus two and this is also plus two then exactly midway between these two point the electric field due to positive charge this positive charge is towards right and the electric field is due to this positive charge is towards left hence they cancel each other so net electric field can be zero but net electric potential can never be zero so first is the correct now net potential of the system at a point b zero right can be zero so that is wrong that that already i have explained see both the net potential and net electric field can be zero no both net potential and electric field cannot be zero no because see net potential cannot be zero that is correct but net electric field can be zero that i have proved here right so only statement one is correct